applying for, operating, and renewing a research experience for undergraduate site program in computational biology. My name is Hong Qing from University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. REU stands for Research Experience for Undergraduates. REU is a program funded by National Science Foundation to offer research opportunity for undergraduates in the United States. An REU site is typically located in a host institution. Each REU participant is expected to work closely with a faculty mentor and other researcher on specific research project. REU participants typically receive stipends and assistance for housing, travel, and food. NSF proposals are generally reviewed on two criteria, intellectual merits and broader impact. For each proposal, reviewer can give it an excellent, very good, good, fair, or poor reading. Three separate review are usually assigned to each proposal. The reviewer panel typically meet as a group to discuss all proposal and make a recommendation for funding. Our initial application for the REU program was submitted in August 2016 and received a non-competitive rating. Naively, we proposed several research projects on disease and human health, which were raised as a major concern by the review panel. Traditionally, disease and human disease research are funded by the National Institutes of Health and thus is not a funding priority of the NSF, particularly for the bio-related funding programs. Our second attempt was in August 2017. Our major revision was the removal of research project on diseases and human health. Our strengths, including the interdisciplinary nature of computing and biology, external funded research project, diverse expertise of the faculty men mentors, and our YouTube educational channel, research training workshop, and the letters of collaboration from minority serving institutions. A major critique was that our proposed external participant at 50% was too low. Another major concern was our proposed two-week boot camp at the beginning of the Arkham Bio, as well as the two-week writing and presentation session at the end. The panel constructively suggests us replace this two-week boot camp and workshop with interspersed short versions throughout the summer program. Because we removed some project, we have less than 10 research project and faculty mentor. This is another critique. In 2018, we submit our revision again. We increase the number of external participant to 80%. We shortened the beginning coding bootcamp. We proposed interspersed short workshop on computing, writing, presentation, and soft skill training throughout the program. We recruited additional faculty mentors and proposed 10 host labs and a research project. The review panel recognized the cross-disciplinary nature between computing and biology, the interdisciplinary background of the principal investigator and the project team and agreed our proposal can provide proper cross-disciplinary training in biocomputing to undergraduate researchers. One concern was raised that some research projects require substantial effort on data collection and may not expose students to enough training in computational analysis and modeling. Fortunately, this issue appeared to be a minor one. 
2019 is our first year of REU, also the only normal year in retrospect. We start our recruitment effort in the early spring of 2019, as soon as we learn that our REU proposal will be funded. We emailed advertisement flyer to colleagues at dozens of minority-serving institutions and liberal arts colleges. We use a Google form to handle the application process. Working with the university IT department, we set up a dedicated email address to handle all the REU applications, especially for letter of recommendations. We set up a dedicated website to host our REU project information. For logistics, we contact the relevant university offices to request guest student ID for email and network access and swap cards. With the help of departmental and university administrative assistants, we prepared the paperwork for stipend payment during their summer research. We contact University Housing to host the incoming 10 REU students over the summer. We learned to schedule the REU student arrival and check-in with the housing staff work schedule. We eventually come up with a to-do list of relevant procedure for future references. We scheduled an orientation for the REU mentees and the mentors. For research ethic training, we use the Collaborative Institutional Training Initiative, the city material. We shared a master schedule using the Google Sheet with all REU mentees and mentors. All IEU students went through a two-day R coding bootcamp, followed by a two-day Python coding bootcamp. We were lucky to have committed faculty mentors and a responsible REU participant in our first year of the REU program. In addition to the intense research training, we organized field trips. IEU students attended the local research meetings, conferences, and professional workshop. IEU students and some faculty often had an informal lunch gathering in the cafeteria. All things changed in 2020. Many universities switched to online education in the early spring of 2020. UTC also switched to online education in the middle of March 2020. After contacting the funding agency, we decided to submit a change of scope request to the funding agency ASF and switch our in-person REU to a virtual REU for 2020. We revised our pre previous research project to accommodate for the remote research experience. We offered online R and Python coding bootcamp. To build the cohort experience, IEU students self-organized some online social event. We were fortunate to have an REU student who is the natural leader and motivated many students to participate in the online social event. Our revised IEU research project includes several projects on COVID-19, including an association study of virus transmission with mobility and weather conditions, social media analysis, predicting daily cases using machine learning model, predicting the seasonality of COVID-19, and epidemiological modeling of COVID-19. The student enthusiastically pursued this research project. During the concluding online presentation of the summer 2020 research, some students invited their friends and family members to join the online meetings. Many students stated that working on pandemic-related projects and comparing their computational modeling result with the unfolding pandemic over the summer of 2020 had become a very fulfilling experience for them. 
There are many unexpected challenges in the 2020 virtual IEU, including the backlog of orders, long delay in the IT support, and a license issue due to remote work. Among these, cohort and team building experience is the most challenging one. We participated in the ISF sponsored external evaluation for 23 remote IEU programs. The Arcambio student reported gains in all 10 categories and are often higher than average. The gains of Arcambio student in research self efficacy, science identity, and life utility are particularly much higher than the average of all the students of the 23 remote IEU programs. In 2020, we submit a formal request again to change the in-person REU to virtual REU. Because of our experience in the previous year, we actually hosted 15 students instead of 10. In 2021, a new challenge also emerged, and the so-called Zoom fatigue, both in student and faculty. We also noticed the application of underrepresented minority student has decreased quite a lot. In all three summer IU programs, we use the ANSAF recommended survey tools to assess the program. For long term career tracking, we request the RU participant to set up LinkedIn profile and provided alternative emails. Our RU participant co authored a four peer reviewed publication and one preprint, including two first authored publications and one first authored preprint. These assessments are required for ANSAF renewal application. Our REU coding bootcamp training material are available on our public GitHub repository. For those who want to apply for ANSAF REU site program, um, we like to share this experience. Our summer REU site program is a service. A team of dedicated faculty is needed. Strong support for the institution is critical. And the FAQ or protocol for REU site logistic for the local organization should be developed. Finally, we'd like to thank the funding agency and the internal support from our university, especially support from the Office of the Vice Chancellor of Research.